Let's say you are earning 1 lakh rupees salary, but you pay a 30% tax over it. What will you tell your family members? What is your salary? And the answer is simple. You will say it's 70,000 because 70,000 is post tax what you get in your hand. The same thing applies for a fixed deposit. If a bank is offering you 7% return, but you are paying taxes over it because whatever interest you generate on a bank fixed deposit gets added to your income and based on your tax slab, you have to pay income tax on the interest which you earn on a fixed deposit. If you are coming in the highest tax bracket, you have to pay approximately a 30% tax. So you might think my bank is giving me 7%, but if you look at post tax returns, it's 30% tax over it. So what you get post tax is approximately 4.9% return. Now, is there a better alternative, better tax efficient option with a similar risk and similar returns kind of profile? And the answer is yes. In debt mutual funds, you can get similar returns and similar risk, but better post tax returns. Which are the alternatives? Select a fund which has got the similar characteristics like a short term fund, a banking and a PSU fund or a corporate bond fund. A bank fixed deposit is generally with a horizon of one to three years. If you look at the tenure of this category of funds is also between one to three or four years. So from a tenure perspective, they are quite similar. Second thing is when you are selecting a fund, pay special attention to the quality of the paper. Bank are considered to be safe, risk free to a great extent. Now when selecting these kind of funds like a short term or a corporate bond fund or a banking and PSU fund, look at the credit quality of papers. Select those funds which are predominantly AAA oriented. The AAA is basically a rating which is given to a corporate bond fund. It's the highest rating which is given to a fund. So if a bond has got majority or completely AAA oriented funds, that means the fund has taken very low credit risk. Now, if you are choosing a high quality short term or a corporate bond fund and a banking and PSU fund, then you can make better post tax returns. Now let's understand the taxation of a debt fund to understand how you make better post tax returns and in which circumstances do you make. If your horizon is less than three years, whatever returns you make in a debt fund gets added to your income and you have to pay tax as per your tax lab. Then you will say it's no different. Even in an FD, I have to pay tax in a similar fashion. Yes, if your horizon is less than three years, then there is no much difference. But the moment your horizon becomes more than three years, the taxation of debt fund becomes quite different. So as per definition, anything which is less than three years is called short term. Anything which is more than three years is called long term. So long term capital gain tax in a debt fund is 20% with indexation. So what happens? First of all, your tax rate comes down, plus you enjoy the benefit of indexation. So you, if you, even if you make similar returns like a fixed deposit, what you make better is very better post tax returns in a debt fund. So I hope you understood the risk and the reward benefit of a debt fund over a fixed deposit. Happy investing, stay invested.